you something. Do you have a job that requires you to sit much of the time? In this video, I'm going to discuss why sitting has been referred to as the new smoking. It might seem like a common sense idea to think that sitting around is not good for you. However, what does the research indicate? PubMed is full of references to studies showing a link between sedentary lifestyle and a range of health conditions. In particular, there is research showing a correlation between sedentary behavior and anxiety. But there is an easy way to address this bad habit. According to the Mayo Clinic, something as simple as walking can be a natural remedy for anxiety, panic, and depression. Walking can be a great mood enhancer and yield a number of other benefits such as helping the body release endorphins, which can serve as a mood elevator. In another study, researchers analyzed the results of 40 randomized clinical trials involving nearly 3,000 patients with a variety of medical conditions. They found that, on average, patients who exercised regularly reported a 20% reduction in anxiety symptoms compared to those who did not exercise. Dr. John Rady, M.D., in his book, Spark, The Revolutionary New Science of Exercise and the Brain, explains how those who exercise, particularly engaged in sustained aerobic exercise, are more mentally alert and attentive, less fidgety, have longer attention spans, and their ability to sort through information and take it in is increased. Exercise promotes the release of brain chemicals that are very good for you, such as hormones, neurochemicals, and growth factors, which Dr. Rady describes as a fertilizer to help our cells function optimally, including brain cells, which helps cells adapt and change. Another way that exercise is helpful is that it promotes neurogenesis, which helps the brain grow new brain cells. Exercise also helps you generate endorphins, which are the body's feel-good chemicals, which can help you feel a sense of well-being and also provide relief from pain. If you look at all of these findings, one thing is very clear. A sedentary lifestyle is the complete opposite. Now, you know that science supports such a common sense approach. I would encourage you to go ahead and embrace the research mentioned in this video. You might be amazed with the positive results achieved in your life, and it's easy to get started with a new and healthier routine. For an extended version of this discussion, feel free to listen to our podcast episodes on iTunes or by clicking on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribing to our free newsletter. This will ensure that you do not miss out on any of our content. Thank you for watching this video. As usual, we look forward to presenting a new video in our series next week.